So let me summarize. First, System LV1 uh, has been out for many years, it was based on UML and was a, a really good start. But UML was originally designed for software modeling and it had certain limitations and we encountered those over the years. So we designed System LV2 pretty much from the ground up. We leveraged what we a lot from System LV1 and UML. Uh, in System LV2, but we had the opportunity to basically fully re-architect the language. And we ended up with this new meta model, um, grounded in the formal semantics, with both this graphical and textual syntax, and a standardized API that we clearly didn't have in System LV1. This provided a whole new capability and it provides the benefits of increased precision, more expressive, more usable, more interoperable, and more extensible than V1. That consistent definition and usage pattern is really a key part of it. It enables the reuse, it enables usability, it enables automation, so it's really uh, an important feature of System LV2. So System LV2 was adopted as a beta spec by the OMG in uh, the second quarter of 2023. And final adoption is expected in 2024. At that time, we expect tool vendors to have implementations of System LV2 for you to use. So your transition planning should begin now and it should start by addressing uh, what are the impacts on your practices, your tools, your training, your metrics? Start with perhaps pilots, uh, form the team, get a strategy in place, and start uh, again with for some pilot projects. And System LV2 will continue to advance. Uh, we have some very uh, important capabilities with System LV2. The, the language is designed to enable library extensions, so we expect a lot of domain-specific libraries. And uh, a new concept, uh, organizational construct, I should say, called the uh, system modeling community was introduced by the OMG to help achieve this. And uh, so we'll be working to advance System LV2 through this community, taking inputs from the broad uh, community out there that's using MBSC with SysML. I'll finish with uh, this one last slide, just pointing to uh, SysML v2 as we developed it, we, uh, you, we uh, evolved uh, this pilot implementation, the specifications, and we captured all this in an uh, open source repository. And so as of the 2023-08 release, and this will continue to be updated, uh, you can see the URL for the release repository. There's a lot of content there, including some training material, starter training material, um, and, and the pilot implementation itself and, and others. So we anticipate that this will continue to be updated over time. And there is an open source Google group that uh, you can uh, sign up to at the URL shown there. And uh, you can ask questions and get responses and share with the broader community what you learn. And with that, uh, thank you for uh, listening to this introduction to System LV2, the next generation systems modeling language.